tonight. Welcome, welcome. I'm getting TikTok here in the house as well. What's up, Stacy? What's up, Jesse? What's up, Iris? What's up, Nicole Tanu? What's up, Plar? What's up, Jay? What's up, Karen? Beautiful. How are you? Joe, what's going on? Hopefully you all can see me. You can hear me. TikTok, see me, hear me. So, 7 o'clock today because I had to start a little early. And we got about an hour for tonight because you know me. It's, uh, oh, we already had the ad. Already? Jeez. Yeah, we just went from like 60 to 20. Um, we need a three-year tag. I'm working on it, Becky. I think we're going to be able to get it. Um, a three and four-year, I think. But here's the deal. I'm going to make a couple tumblers with some vinyl shield because uh, we get questions on the vinyl shield all the freaking time. And then we'll I'll pick two names. We'll give away the tumblers, of course. I got a special coupon code for 15. 15 was, man, I thought I was going to be able to get more. But um, because they are on Amazon, they're already priced really good. So I have the link on the products we love i'll show you it but 15 percent off over here the 24 ounce mars tumblers the acrylic ones and then also 15 percent off color spark adhesive vinyl and the vinyl shield and vinyl shields what we're going to be using here tonight so with the vinyl shield there's a couple different things and i want to show you guys okay so let me just grab a couple of these to show you. So I don't want you to get necessarily the wrong impression with vinyl shield. So the main purpose of vinyl shield is to protect the vinyl. Okay. Where it works really, really good is for something like um, the opal vinyls. Okay. The opal vinyls and the metallic vinyls and stuff get scratched up real easy. When you put the vinyl shield over top of it, it protects it so it's impossible to scratch them okay now when it comes to being dishwasher safe yes your vinyl creations will last longer in the dishwasher okay they will last longer does it mean that they're dishwasher safe um that's where you're going to eventually over time well number one is if you put the wrong tumblers in the dishwasher that's not going to work. I have a tumbler out there that I put through in the dishwasher and it freaking melted. So vinyl shield isn't going to protect your tumbler from melting. However, it will greatly increase the longevity of the vinyl. Okay. I still always, even, even different tumblers that are dishwash top shelf dishwasher safe, I still always recommend to hand wash them, okay? I always recommend to hand wash them because then they're going to last way longer, all right? However, um, how about swimming pools? Pfft, no problem at all. No problem at all. So this one right here, okay, this is our Unicorn Opal Adhesive Vinyl. This has Vinyl Shield on it, and you can kind of see, see right there a little bit, the outline of it, that's got vinyl shield on it. It's an opal that can't be scratched now, okay? Same thing with this Sharon tumbler. Kind of hard to see that there's vinyl shield on it. Now, what else the vinyl shield will help with is it has a UV protectant on it. So it will also make your vinyl creations last longer in the sun as well. All right, because it has that UV protection in it. So over time, the sun beating down on it for a year plus, of course, again, there's still going to be some of the UV that will get through the UV protection. Okay, it's like when you put sunscreen on, well, you're still going to get some sun, right? So... That's kind of what I wanted to get into right away with the vinyl shield because I don't want you to necessarily...
be misrepresented and think, if I put vinyl shield on it, I can freaking drop a grenade in this thing and it's not going to affect the vinyl. All right? So it's not like that. Now, other things with the vinyl shield. This, we're going to make one of these today. When you look right at this right now, you can't see the vinyl shield really, right? It's really difficult to see the vinyl shield. However, when I bring it up really close, look at the inside of the B right there and the V. See that little bit right there where you can see the vinyl shield? And the reason why, and this is what I always explain to you guys, is when you layer vinyl, okay, when you layer vinyl, it's always going to go up in steps. So the second layer of vinyl is always going to be a little bit higher than the first layer of vinyl, obviously, right? So that's where you just, that's, that's part of it. But again, when you're looking right at it, it's really difficult to see that. When you're looking real close at an angle, you'll see that little area. But again, your, your decal, your sticker is going to last so much longer that obviously, in my opinion, it's well worth it. Now, this, again, is a two-color vinyl shield. So I think this one, and I get this question all the time as well. So I do, here, I'm going to go throw some ice in this real quick. Give me 30 seconds and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I get a lot of questions of will the color changing vinyl work with vinyl shield on it? Obviously, yes. You can see that right there. <laughs> Some people thought the video froze up. How awesome is that? And then watch. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Um, the 15, per, oh, let me just show you guys real quick because I know a lot of you guys will be going there. Um, the 15% off is not on the Save a Cup website. It is actually on Amazon, okay? So when you're on our website, go to Products We Love and then go to Tumblers for TRW Templates. All of these tumblers right here are 15% off. So you'll actually purchase it right on Amazon. So if you have Amazon Prime, it's free shipping and all of that. Okay? All right, let me flip back here. Just got an order from Save a Cup today. Let's go. Um, so, yes, go to the products we love and you will see the 24-ounce acrylic tumblers. And that's where you'll use it to get the 15% off. And I'll show you guys again at the end of the live here. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get started and make a couple of these. So first thing I need is we're going to start with a monogram one. So to do a monogram one, I need somebody's monogram. Give me a three letter monogram. I'm trying to flip a uh, I don't know what's going on. I got stuff blowing up behind me. I got people jumping all over me. What's going on? What is going on here on TikTok? Stop it, TikTok. What are you, what are you doing to me? All I want to do is flip my camera around. Flip camera. There we go. And stop the jumping people.
Stop it with all the people. Stop it. Hold on. I'm trying to make the effects go away. Go away. Stop. There you go. Woo! Was that you, Crystal? <laughs> all right. So, let's find in. I got... Do, 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 do. Cheryl H. Cheryl H. is who I first saw. Cheryl H. And we got... What was it, Cheryl H? C-D-H. All right, so I'm going to come over to Corel Draw here. Let me flip my screen around. C-D-H. So what I'm actually going to use is I'm going to use my TRW Thick Monogram. Okay? I'm going to come over here in the, in the TRW Design Wizard and type C-D-H. All good there. I'm going to hit Thick Monogram. I'm going to hit U-M because I wanted to automatically create this universal monogram, and there we go, CDH. Now, I want a line or a circle to go around that, so I'm just going to hit an explanation point, and look at that. Absolutely perfect, right? Doesn't get much easier than that. Now, we're going to do this one on one of these nice big... 24 ounce acrylics. So I need to get an idea on size that we want for this. So let me grab my tape measure here. And I'm going to go probably about three inches. So I want my total size to be about three inches, okay? So what I'm going to, and I want this to be a second color. I'll do it in that unicorn. I saw somebody ask, can you do it in unicorn? Yes, I will. In the second color, I'll use a regular vinyl. Um, I, I bet you I have some matte black over here as well. So I'll do that as well. So check this out. I'm going to take this down to about, I don't know, 2.8 inches. Okay, once I have that up here, I'm going to hit create boundary and I'm just going to bring that out a tiny bit right there and that's going to be my black layer. So I have my boundary there. I'm going to come over here and I said we're using unicorn. So I'm just going to click on the unicorn and we're going to use a black background. So this is going to be kind of an idea of what we're going to make right here with the Color Spark Unicorn Adhesive Vinyl. All right. Now, what I also need to do is I need to create my layer for the vinyl shield. Okay. So with the vinyl shield, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come down here to my magic boundary on the right hand side, and I'm just going to create a 0.1 inch contour around it. Matt, how long will the Midnight Rainbow Holographic last on a tumbler without vinyl shield? Um, it's going to last. It's just a matter, Nicole, of how fine your cuts are. Like if you have really, really small cuts or thin cuts, that's where you're going to run into an issue with adhesive vinyl. All right? So this is my vinyl shield. The black layer here is my um, Color Spark Matte Adhesive Vinyl. And then, obviously, my Unicorn Adhesive. So I'm going to come over here to Vinyl Overcut. And there's my three cuts. Okay? So let's bring you guys over to... We're going to be using the Graph Tech here tonight. So let's bring you over to the Graph Tech over here. TikTok, I got you guys over there. And... Let me switch you guys over here on YouTube to the production view. There we go. And let me get this camera down a little bit here so you guys can kind of see as well. All right. So I actually have the vinyl shield loaded in here. So I'll just actually cut this first. So 
So, vinyl shield is loaded into my GraphTech cutter here. I'm coming back over to the software just to send it to the cutter. So, I'm going to go cut plot CM4. And then for my cut setting, I'm going to do a force of 14 and a speed of 30. And then I'm just going to hit send. I'm going to hit one, that'll bring it out so I can trim it off. And you can see how easy that graph tech cut it. So, next thing I'm going to cut here, I'm going to keep my vinyl shield back there. I'm going to do my opal adhesive vinyl. And yes, all of this that I'm showing you here tonight will be 15% off with the coupon code. I'm just going to load this from the front since it's not a full roll. All right, let's go ahead and drop that down. I'm going to hit one for front edge. I still do have Wonder Twin. Yes, <laughs> Wonder Twin is still up there. All right. Now I'm going with the opal, so I'm going to select the letters part of the design. The opals, the unicorn opals, crazy. It's, it's sweet. So for my force, I'm only going to do a 12 for force on the unicorn opal. And then my last color, I have the matte black adhesive vinyl which the matte black looks really awesome with the opal because it's such a contrast all right opal back there let's grab my matte black here i'm going to bring it all the way through there because I have a cut that was done there, so it's going to read, and once it hits the sensor right here, it's going to stop, and then we're ready to go. Oh man, it makes the, it makes the opal pop so much. It looks so damn good. All right, so I'm going to go launch, cut plot CM4, and I'm going to do the same cut setting of a force of 12 with this as well. And let's bring you guys over here so we can get this thing weeded and made. I'm going to hit one. It's going to bring it out. Another thing I love about the Graph Tech cutter, how you can just bring that out. You can hit two. It'll bring it back and it's ready for the next cut. Now let's go ahead and weed this. So, weeding the vinyl shield first. You can see how easy that was to weed out our circle there. And then we have our matte black. Um, yeah, the weeding tool I'm using is our pen tool. So super, super sharp. And pretty much what I use all the time now. And then let's go ahead and weed our opal. So the opal's got a little bit of detail here to it, but not too much. But it should be super easy. And I'll just hold it up here so you can see it. To weed that as well. And then we just have the inside there. Nice. All right, so now that we have our three layers, this is where it gets a little more difficult. I have my application tape, okay? What piece am I putting onto the application tape first? Is it the opal 
Is it the matte black or is it the vinyl shield? Let me know. Clean off my opal from any fingerprints here. Because once we put the vinyl shield on it, guess what? It's there for good, right? Like we had a little... Yes, you guys got it. I see most of you are getting it. Our first layer has to be the vinyl shield. Because it's on that app tape, then we go to the opal, then we go to the last layer, which is the black. You always work from the top to the bottom. With heat transfer vinyl, you always work from the bottom to the top because you press layer on top of, layer on top of. Make sense? And that's where a lot of people get confused, especially when it comes to adhesive vinyls. All right, let's grab this here. And again, we're starting with our vinyl shield. So vinyl shield, drop that down. And I am using, a lot of you guys have seen me do this. What I did is I used a scrap of Magic Flock and folded it around my squeegee here. And what that does, it allows me when I squeegee stuff like opals so it doesn't scratch it up. So it has that kind of flock fiber. Because if I just squeegeed opal with this plastic right here, it would scratch the opal. So that's a nice little hack for you guys. All right. Good there. Let's go ahead and roll this off. And there is my vinyl shield. Okay. So now... I need to get this lined up perfect. This can be difficult, right? That's where the parchment paper comes in. Parchment paper down. Vinyl shield. I can see through the parchment paper to the opal down below with the vinyl shield. And I can say that looks good to me right there. So, I'm going to squeegee this corner right here. I'm going to lift this up. And then I'm going to squeegee this down. And technically, this could be done if we want. Okay? And it could be a one color unicorn opal sticker or decal that has vinyl shield on top of it. However, we have one more color to add. So I'm just going to roll this off. You can see how easy the vinyl comes off there. I'm grabbing my parchment paper again. Let's go ahead and see how you can see through the parchment paper to get everything lined up perfectly. Once I feel like it's lined up good, I'm going to drop that down, squeegee that corner, lift this up, and then this is where I'm just going to go in a straight line across to squeegee that down. And now we have a finished decal with vinyl shield on top. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Let me go ahead and grab my tumbler holder here real quick. Let's throw our tumbler on, clean the tumbler real quick. And now, a lot of people don't think of this part. When it comes to layering the actual decal onto the tumbler, it works really good to still use the parchment paper. So what I'm going to do, roll this off on the parchment paper. 
like that. Get it so it's lined up the way that I want it. See how I can move it around. Once I see it, I'm a little bit up the cup right there. A little bit on the edge. That looks pretty good to me. You guys know me. I'm good with pretty good. Let's go ahead and drop that down. Lift this up. And then I'm just going to kind of work it with my thumb from the right to the left. And what that will do is it'll avoid any bubbles. And we're good to go. So that parchment paper is a huge trick. Any of you guys that don't use it already, that will really help you when you're applying decals and stickers. And then I'll just kind of push on those little areas a tiny bit. You can see the vinyl shield around it and how nice it looks. And the great part about, especially this opal, like you go at this angle, you're gonna see a purple, you're gonna see a blue. It just hits so many different colors. Pretty sweet, isn't it? All right, that one is done. Let me throw a straw in here. Yes, these tumblers are these tumblers are sweet. These are the exact same tumblers, just so you guys know, that they sell at Starbucks for $15 each. Exact same tumbler at a fraction of the cost. I think with, um, with the 15% off code for the Amazon link tonight, I think it comes, can someone tell me, what do they go down to, like $21 or something like that for a four pack? So I think it's a four pack of these for $21. A four pack of the exact same tumbler just with the Starbucks logo on it would be $60. It's a big difference. And these are the exact same tumblers that I did this in as well. They did actually, I agree, Elaine. They actually improved. So check this out. The Starbucks tumbler is straight flat, but the Save a Cup tumbler actually has this little dip area next to the straw which is super nice for any type of kind of of the drink that comes up a little bit so it doesn't just roll off the side. Um, the code is right there, right there, 15 TRW Summer, but you have to get it from the Amazon link, not from actual, it's from Save a Cup, but it's their Amazon of the link that we have. So go on the main page of our website, go to the products we love, and that's where you'll see it. And I'll show you guys right now before we start this next tumbler. Let me flip you guys around here. And I'll show you guys all where it is. So if you are on our main website, what you're going to do is go here and then here. Tumblers for templates. All of these tumblers right there are the ones that are 15% off. Oh, Pilar, Pilar threw the link up there as well. <coughs> All of these different versions right here are 15% off. So once you get to checkout, you'll see enter a promotional code and then it'll take it off before you pay. Got it? <clears throat> All right. Now I need to make another tumbler here. 
So, the second tumbler we're going to make, these ones don't have a coupon code tonight, but I'm going to try and see if I can't get one for next Monday. Because if you guys haven't seen yet, what we're going to do in next Monday's live is this right here. Okay? Have you guys seen this yet? We just released these. These are full rhinestone cup wrap kits. Okay? We have the purple, the lavender, the smoke. We have the pink, the mint, the blue, and the crystal. So with these kits right here, they actually come with everything you need, including the tumbler. So you're going to get the actual tumbler, the, the blank tumbler. You're going to get the file that you need to cut. You're going to get the hot fix tape, the HTV anything, the magic clock, the stones, and the glitter heat transfer vinyl. So everything you need to make this tumbler look exactly like this, you get in the kit. And next Monday, I will be making one of these kits to show you exactly how to do it. So any of you that are looking to do this, you can get the kit this week and then come next Monday, I'm going to be live showing you exactly how to make it. That's pretty sweet, right? How many other businesses do that for you? Just this one. All right. Um, yes, and our 15% off on our website the 15% off on our website works for all Color Spark adhesive vinyl, the vinyl shield, and the assortment packs, and the supplies. So basically everything under adhesive vinyl. And that code is up above me right there. It is the CS Live 15, and that'll be for 24 hours. Okay? All right. I need a name. And we're going to make another tumbler with a custom name. And don't worry, we're going to put it on the right way. We aren't going to put the name on upside down, Crystal. <laughs> All right, what you guys got? Bottom to top. That would be so bad. I would have to do a headstand while I'm putting it on. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, that would be so bad. All right, I am, I'm letting you guys type some names out, and then I'm going to hop over there, and then basically the first one I see, I'll pick. <laughs> Poor Crystal. All right, we got, let me go pick a name here real quick. Name I have is, don't do 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 we got, I'm scrolling through here and I'm going to pick a name and scrolling through and picking the name we came with. Ooh, uh, I did that name last time. I'm going to not do that one again. Let's do, oh, I have that name right there. Let's not do that one again. Um, how about we do, I don't think we've ever done that name. No, I don't think we have. Let's go. We got Trisha. T R I S H A. Trisha. Um, Trish Mickey, you are the winner. Let's go. So, Trisha. T R I S H A. There we go. With Trisha, we are going to head over here and we are going to do the superscript. You guys know. You guys know the special fonts, right? Superscript for Trisha. I'm going to go ahead and break them apart. And then I'm going to kind of rearrange just a little bit, get everything lined up nice and good. And then I can also, if I want to, and this is what I love about the superscript font, is I could come over here, highlight the T and say, do I want a different T? No, I actually like that one a lot better. Um, how about an H? Do I want a different H? No, that's going too far into that. Eh, that's a little too much too. Let's stick with the basic there. How about the S? 
Nah. That S looks pretty cool. We could possibly do that just to mix it up a little bit. Um, nah. With certain letters, it looks good. I'm going to go with the regular here. I'm going to go with the regular here. But you can add any of that stuff, which is really cool. Um, is there another A? Yes, there's multiple A's as well. You have this one, you have this one. I kind of like the original. I kind of like the original look that we had here. Um, the T, I can make a little bit bigger if I want. That looks good. So I'm going to go with that. All right, and we're going to throw this on actually one of these clear 16-ounce acrylic tumblers. So let me come over here, grab one of the clear acrylics right here, and I know how big it is. I'm just going to measure to show you guys. I'm going to come over here and measure, and I know this is about 7 inches tall. So I probably want a max of about 5 inches for Trisha's name here, okay? Now, I'm going to come up here, weld her name together, and go to about 4.8 inches or so because I have my vinyl shield, remember, coming after that. So, easy way to do the vinyl shield. I'm just going to come down to contour, hit magic boundary, and there we go. Now, see that little spot right there and that little spot right there? I'm going to actually do it a little bit less. I'm going to go a 0 0.09. And even a little bit less, 0 0.08. So what I did is I opened up some of this. So by opening up some of that, what that's going to do is it's going to avoid kind of a bubble in there because it gives an open area to the vinyl shield. Does that make sense to everybody? Had this area been completely closed, and I'll give you an example. Had I come over here and said I wanted a 0.15 magic boundary, and it been like this, this area would have kind of looked not nearly as good with the bubble. Because it wouldn't have had that opening to kind of release right there. Same thing with this little spot right here going into the H between the R and the I, it's just going to make it look a lot nicer so that vinyl shield isn't as noticeable. Okay? So I'm at five inches right there. I think I'm looking pretty good. I think I'm looking pretty good. Now the question is, Crystal, not Crystal, Crystal. What's up, Crystal? We're not going to put it, I was just thinking upside down, but um, Trisha. Do you want, do you want to do color changing vinyl for yours? It's also on sale tonight. Do you want to do some, uh, looks like, it looks like I have some right here. What do you think? Let me make sure it is. This is what I love. I just put it next to some ice. So to make sure it's the right color, I'll come over here and do this, and does it turn purple at all? Yes, it does. What do you think, Crystal? Crystal. I keep saying Crystal because I keep not wanting to put this name upside down. What do you think, Trisha? Pink to purple color change? With vinyl shield on top? I think it'll look sweet. Um, yes, the, basically the vinyl shield's like a laminate, exactly. And it's got a UV protectant on it as well, like a laminate. Love it all, let's go. All right, Trisha gave us the go, let's go. So I'm gonna come over here, we're at a little over five inches, I'm gonna do vinyl overcut. Good to go with that. So I'm going to start with the color changing. So I'm going to come over here, go launch cut plot CM4. That's ready to cut. 
Let's bring TikTok over here and let's bring YouTube to the other cameras over here. And here we go. So we are going to use our color changing adhesive vinyl here. And I think we have, man, I want to say we have like 20 colors. Am I right with that? We're always updating so many different colors. We, we have around 20 colors of our color changing adhesive vinyl. Now, this is a thicker vinyl, okay? So I'm going to go to a force of 16 and hit send, but I'm also going to be ready to see if that's cutting too deep or too thin. This is kind of like my test cut here. It looks like my cut is pretty good right here. I'm definitely not, I don't think, nope, I'm not cutting through, which is good. Now let's see if I was cutting through enough. We know the vinyl shield is a 14, but this is always a little bit thicker vinyl. So let's see. Oh, it's always easy to tell by the weed box. Okay, weed box came off good. That's a good sign. Now let's see if the rest of it's going to come off that easy. Oh my goodness. Look at how easy that was to weed. I don't even need my pick tool. Watch this. Fold, pull. Fold, pull. Done. That was simple. All right. Let's go here. Get my vinyl shield loaded in. Drop that down, one for front edge. And vinyl shield, I need to change my force to a 14. So coming over here to my force, I'm dropping it down to a 14 and hit send. I have a graph tech and the wizard. Definitely has, let's go Trish, let's go. All right, trimming that baby there, coming up this side. And let's go ahead and move you guys down a little bit here so you can see better. And let's get this weeded. So I was at a force of 14 on the vinyl shield. Let's see how that was. Oh man, that was absolutely perfect. Now I'm grabbing my inside, those little inside areas of the vinyl shield that I made to make sure kind of we had that almost like little release points for the bubbles, right? That looks good there. We got our color changing here. Let me grab my adhesive vinyl. This is six, our, my application tape. This is our six inch wide app tape, which is super easy to use. Again, we start with the vinyl shield part. So I'm gonna drop that down. Squeegee, lift this up. Roll this back. I always roll, instead of pulling the top from the bottom, I always pull the carrier from the actual sticker or decal or vinyl shield or whatever it is. All right. Now, parchment paper. Always make sure your parchment paper is clean, especially with two dogs. It can be difficult at times. So make sure there's no dog hair on it which happens frequently around here. And then I can see, I know you guys can't see it from there. I'm gonna try and move it down here in just a second to show you. Come here, YouTube. 
All right, YouTube. Can you guys see the outline of the vinyl shield right there? Um, yes, we have the application. We have every, everything I use here we have on the website. So, again, I just drop my finger down, lift this up, squeegee down, and we're done. The dogs always want to help, don't they? However, they don't ever really help. Now, Trish, I'm going to ask you, Trish. Trish, do you want the T on your name to be on the top and work down? Or do you want the T on your name to be on the bottom and work up? I'm not going to influence you here. I want you to tell me what you want. So, T here, working down. Or T on the bottom, working up. You let me know, I'll make it whatever way you want. It's your tumbler. The dog here is like a guide. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you guys see, I'm being fair. I'm not providing any influence here. What do you think, Trish? Here? Or here? Everybody's waiting. On the top. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. That is an amazing answer, Trish. Amazing answer. So basically, you just want it done the right way, is what you're saying. And I'll do that. I mean, I would have. I would have put it upside down for you. Had you wanted it upside down, but... I'm just glad that you wanted it done correctly. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call that a winner right there. Winner, winner. How you doing there, Crystal? You doing all right? We got another smart person on our hands here. I can't see the TikTok comments. <laughs> winner, 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 chicken dinner. Trish probably didn't even know that that was a little mini competition right there. But just to let you know, Trish, you provided the correct answer. Yes, you did. Oh, that looks so good. There we go. Now, what's awesome about this is even though this is a... So, Trish, when you get this tumbler, okay, even though it is a double wall tumbler, even though it's a double wall tumbler, after a few minutes, if you have a cold beverage in here, ice water, iced martini, whatever you want, it's up to you, it's your tumbler, it will turn purple wherever the, obviously, the temperature is right and it's cold enough. So, it takes a little bit longer with the double wall tumbler like this compared to 
obviously this one that I showed you earlier that is straight pink and purple already. I think we should have had a deal right there if whatever one Trish chose, coupon turns to coupon. Um, what font am I using? I'm using the TRW Superscript font. TRW Superscript. So, yes, I will go over and I'll show you guys. Um, did I do a live on the football tumbler? That's a great question. I don't know if we did a live on the football tumbler. All right, so check it out. <clears throat> the, I'm going to go through now and show you guys. So, next Monday is going to be this, Rhinestone Tumbler Kit. We just released these tumbler kits. They come with everything you need, including the tumbler. Next Monday, I'm going to be making one of these and one of, I'll probably actually make two tumblers. I'll probably make one of these and one of the big 24 ounce tumblers as well. So that'll be next Monday. That's going to be a good one. However, for tonight, okay, go to products we love. Tumblers for TRW templates. And all of these tumblers right here are the ones that you want. And I'm giving you the link right here as well. So when you click on these tumblers and you choose whichever one you want, when it goes to checkout is when you'll enter the code 15TRWSUMMER that's up above me on Amazon, not on the Save a Cup site, okay? On Amazon. And it'll take 15% off your Amazon order. Got it? And then for our website, adhesive vinyl, you got the Color Spark vinyl, all of these. So when I was talking about temperature color changing and having a lot of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? 16, I wasn't even close, 24, 25, 26, 27. We have 29 different colors. What did I say? Did I say 30 or 20? I think I only said 20. We have 29 different color changing adhesive vinyl colors. The one that I was using here was the dragon fruit, pink to purple. Um, will there, will there be a coupon code for the steel tumblers? Um, not right now. Right now, the code is just for those 24 ounce acrylic tumblers. And just to let you know, you get to double up on the, on the coupons. So you can see if you buy two rolls, say you got a dragon fruit roll and a blueberry roll, you get 5% off both of the rolls, and then you get an additional 15% off when you enter the code. If you got five different rolls, you could get five different colors. You'll get 10% off plus an additional 15% off at checkout when you enter the code. 10 rolls, 15% off plus another 15% off. And with each different color, you also get a different SVG file as well. So obviously with pineapple, you get a little pineapple SVG. With limeade, you get a little limeade. With blueberry, you get little blueberry. These are all SVGs that come free with it. Um, I know, right, Alan? We're working on some things. We're working on some things. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Um, the vinyl shield is right here. And again, two rolls of vinyl shield, 5% off plus 15% off. Five rolls of vinyl shield, 10% off plus 15% off and so on. 
So I think we're all good with that. I think we're all good with that. Um, what else did we have? Man, I'm going to be right on time. I'm going to be right on time. Jackson's going to be pumped because I'm going to be right on time for the Home Run Derby that starts at 8 o'clock. How many of you guys are watching the Home Run Derby tonight? Where are my baseball fans at? Home Run Derby, 8 o'clock. I got Pete Alonzo again. Three wins in a row. Um, where do you get the tumbler that I use for the CDH? That's from saveacup.com. Cardinals fan. Boo. I'm a Cubs fan, but that's all right. That's all right. I will be. Let's go. All right. So we already got the two, the two tumblers, the winner for the two tumblers. Um, next order that requires shipping. Yes, Alan. That's why the live started at seven. Um, the two tumblers our winners, your next order that requires shipping, just put it in your custom notes that you were the winner for the tumbler. They will verify it, and boom, you're good to go. Yes, there has to be at least one player from each team. So, yes, Brian. Yes, there is. Smart ass. I know the Cubs are a triple-A team right now. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me that. Ah, Bobby, so sorry to hear that. But the good thing, Bobby, is at least they finally got that World Series, which made a lot of longtime Cubby fans happy. So I'm sure it made Pops happy in 2016. Cubby, look at all the Cubbies fans here. Let's go. Happy to see all the Cubby fans. That's awesome, Bobby. All right. Um, what offset size did you... Um, for the vinyl shield, I used a 0.1 inch offset for the ones I did tonight. 0.1 inch. Okay, so everybody has the coupon code. Um, we'll send it in the email tomorrow as well. But... Coupon code for 15% off Color Spark Adhesive Vinyl. It'll last for 24 hours through tomorrow night. Um, the coupon code for the 24 ounce Mars Acrylic Tumblers, which is 15% off from the Amazon, from the Amazon product in the products we love on the website. Okay? That didn't I say coupon? I think I said coupon. I said coupon, damn it. And that's not for life. We're changing that. We're changing that. Damn it. I'm almost used to saying coupon now and it sucks. Alright, I do need to pick. Let's get, let's get, um, we need 56 likes real quick. Can everybody hit that like button real quick? It wasn't. I, you need to go back to the replay. We need to go back and see a replay on that. I'm challenging it. It was not, say, coupon for the rest of my life. It was to say it then. I need, I need a video replay on that. I need a, if there was no limit, then that means it could have been just for that night. Or it could have been. So if there was no time that was said, then may, I'm, I'm a month in already. I think I'm well overdue on that bet. Yeah, let's go to New York. Let's see what New York says. After further review, there was no clarity on that. I agree, Liz. And I'm a, I'm a month plus in, so I think I'm well past it. After further review, New York says there was no time frame indicated in the initial bet. Bet offsets, incomplete, coupon. Let's go. Hell no, we're not doing a vote replay. Because I know what you guys would vote. 
<laughs> I'm not dumb. <laughs> All right, hurry up. Come on, we need 25 more likes for two mini packs. I know, all of you guys would make me keep saying coupon. I know how it is. I know how you are. The rest of 2022, that's a long damn time. I'll tell you what, I'll keep saying coupon if, Crystal, if every Tumblr you make with a name on it, you put it on the right way. How about that? And the right way, meaning the way that everybody says to put it on. All right, we got 186. We need 14 more. Click that like button. Let's go. I didn't see Crystal's response to that. My mom taught me if I don't have anything nice to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have plenty nice to say. <laughs> uh, Crystal, I'm telling you, I'll go coupon for the rest of the year if you put your if you put your names on right on your tumblers. Our next bet that we have is going to be you have to make a you have to make a crystal tumbler with your name on right and you have to use that tumbler every day just so you can stare at it. Uh, that would be awesome. 193, we need seven more. Let's go. <laughs> crystal said, "No, <"Nah>, I'm good." <laughs> Crystal's going to make sure next time we have a little bet that there's a time frame involved. I will too, don't worry. <laughs> I'll run over it with my car, but I'll video it first. What, you'll, what you would end up doing, Crystal, is you would end up looking at it, and you would look at it every day, and then one day, it would finally click. One day it would finally click because you would see Crystal on the tumbler correctly. And you'd be like, well, damn it. Matt's right. That does look a lot better. Like, I don't even have to do a headstand to drink anymore. And it would click. And then you would just be like, you would never admit to it. But in your head, you would be like, Matt was right. <laughs> and I'm fine with you not admitting it just as long as in your head you know like at the end of the day Matt was right and then you're like ah, I can't tell him that but I guess he kind of was right <laughs> not happening <laughs> all right we got our two of five. Let me pick some mini pack winners. Ah, uh, she would. Crystal will not break. I agree with that. <laughs> See, that's the that's the next issue. Is you call it a pop can? Who calls it a pop can? I guess we're in Florida. We don't. We're weird. What do you call it? Do you call it pop or soda? I just call it Coke or Mountain Dew or whatever it is. No, it's not pop. Pop. Give me a pop. No, it's not pop. A beer can. <laughs> Man, this is a good one. There's a lot of sodas and a lot of pops. So you go to, you actually, you literally go to the restaurant and you're like, can I have a pop? Well, what the hell kind of pop do you want? Like, 
I'll have a Coke. And then they say, is Pepsi okay? And then I'll say, sure. Or you just, exactly. Oh. Okay, Crystal and I finally agree on something. <coughs> We're going to end it at that. <coughs> Crystal and I finally agree on something. I wouldn't go to... I wouldn't go to the server and say, can I have a pop or a soda or a Coke? I'll just say, I'll take a Corona. And we're good. Let's go. That's a win-win. I'll take it. We're on the same page, Crystal. Let's go. Now flip your name around on a tumbler and we're all good. All right. Let me pick my two winners. Winners for... A mini pack of choice. I got dun, 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 dun. I got Ashley K. Ashley K, you got yourself a mini pack of choice or a font of choice. And I have Ah Mr. Brian Lofton. Brian Damn Cardinals. Brian, congratulations, dude. You got yourself a mini pack of choice. Alright. Here's the deal. Next Monday. I'm feeling it next Monday. All right. I'm feeling it next Monday. Next Monday. I'm trying to flip the camera around here. TikTok. Next Monday. We're hitting our 500 live because we are doing a full rhinestone tumbler. At least one of them. Maybe two of them. I'm going to be showing you how to make the kits that we just released on the website. Full rhinestone tumbler. Next Monday. 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's go. All right. I want 500 live. I want to give away a cameo. And if we get the 500 live, I'll also give away the full rhinestone tumbler during the live. Got it? All right. As always, appreciate you guys. Coupon code right there, 15% off the 24-ounce Mars tumblers on Amazon. 15% off Color Spark Adhesive Vinyl and Supplies and... Vinyl Shield on our website will be good for 24 hours. Uh, we should do a crystal tumbler. Yes, we're, we are. We're going to do a crystal tumbler. I'm going to make crystal a tumbler. I'm going to make it the correct way and I'm going to send it to her. And she's going to get it in the mail and she's going to be like, damn, that looks good. I think so. I agree. I agree. All right. TikTok, got a mini pack for you. We were over 100. Mini pack for TikTok crew. TikTok crew mini pack, we got our mini pack winner is dun, 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 dun. K and M Creative Designs. K and M Creative Designs. You are the winner for a mini pack on TikTok. Let's go. All right, TikTok, appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Monday, next Monday is the big one. We're getting 500 live on YouTube and we are giving away a cameo and the full rhinestone tumbler on the live. Don't let me down. TikTok, I'm out. Later. YouTube, appreciate you guys. You guys have a good night. And I will send, we'll, we'll send an email and stuff um, tomorrow what the codes are as well. It'll go through tomorrow night. All right, crew. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon. Later.